Hi, I am Matthias Bavet from the WSL Institute for Snow and Avalanche Research in Davos, Switzerland. I want to give you today a quick overview of our paper in Geoscientific Model Development, which is about our initial graphical user interface system. I am a numerical model developer, and as such I try to support the users of my models. I started first by setting up a single configuration file that contains all the settings with clear names, but it was not enough. Then I moved on to develop a very extensive documentation, but unfortunately most of the people don't read documentation, so it was not enough. What we really needed was a graphical user interface. But developing graphical user interfaces is very time consuming, and moreover for numerical models, uh, the settings tend to change a lot to have new settings added or renamed and so forth, and then it would be a never ending task. There are actually alternatives. This is systems or approaches such as declarative user interface models, but these are very complicated and time consuming to learn. Our approach that we present in this paper, this is the initial software. It is basically a slimmed down version of declarative user interface models, but specifically tailored to the needs of numerical models. First, we start by describing all the user input requirements into a file. Currently, it's an XML file. Then, Initial reads this file and dynamically populates a graphical user interface with uh, the widget that are required to get these inputs from the user. This interface is then presented to the user. The user can configure his models through this interface and then, in the end, save everything through Initial into a configuration file. And then, finally, it's even possible to run the numerical model directly from within Initial. We have used this approach over the last 10 years for our own models. It has been very successful and very, very convenient for us. You will find more details into the GMT paper. The full reference is given below in the video description. And I wish you a very good reading.